A rough, rough demo. Ah, uh, ready, folks. Yes, a very good uh, afternoon. You find me here beside this rather bog standard cylindrical phone box. So, what is unusual about this one that's made me stand beside it? Well, it's a rather old one, this because it's got the GR on it. Look at that GR. Uh, most phone boxes have ER on it, which stands for Elizabeth Regina. Regina is a suffix that means um, ruler, Rex, ruler, or queen, king, whatever. But this one's got the GR on it, which stands for George. So it's quite an old one, this. That must be like, what, 1940-ish or something? This one, most of them have E on it, except for in Scotland, however. A lot, a lot of the boxes in Scotland don't have uh, the E on it because that stands for Elizabeth. And uh, the first Queen Elizabeth wasn't recognised as a monarch in Scotland. So they don't, they don't bother having it on there. So it'd be very unusual to find one in Scotland with the ER on it. Um, and some of the phone boxes, uh, phone boxes, some of the, the post boxes in Scotland were actually blowing up. Yes, they were. And did you know that the phone box was originally green uh, to blend in with the landscape? And it was in 18, oh, again, about 1848 or something, that they were painted red to, uh, to stand out so people could see them. So, there you go. Oh my goodness me, it's so cold again today, folks. Another one of these days where you think it's going to be all right because the sun's out shining out there like that hiding behind the trees a sentinel sun but it's actually really cold man Brr. so i'm gonna to have to go back inside and find my gloves right i've come down to the beach folks and uh, believe it or not people in this area were complaining about the noise that these flagpoles make by them flapping in the breeze. Yes, the noise they make goes constantly all the way through the night. And yes, people were complaining about them. Can you believe it? So yeah, down at the beach, I've changed my mind about what I was going to do today. Uh, it's so cold that I've decided to just come down to uh, down to the, the front of Bright Ferry. We've got to go to the shops, obviously, and get some stuff. So I'm going to go to the ferry, and uh, I'm armed with a tenner. A tenner, I have to get stuff for the tea, and also, uh, I'm going to get something from a charity shop. I'm going to do a charity shop, junk or gem, charity shop, junk or gem, because Beth and Zoe were asking me to do it. So that's what I'm decided to do. That's what I've decided to do. I'm mumbling, it's so cold today. Now over here we have a, uh, I was going to say a 10 pin bowling court, but it's not that, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a crazy golf course. And this is the most famous one that everybody remembers. I remember it, bro remembers it. It's one of the Tay Road Bridge. There you go, look at that, it goes across. And that is the most famous uh, crazy golf hole probably in the world. There it is. <laughs> Thanks to the last one you come to as well, yeah. There we go. Many hours spent down here. Uh, fantastic. Right, we'll go. Which way we'll go? We'll go this way. Get this. Whoa. Right, folks, behind me here we have the uh, the Gillies 
uh, window display. They always have a really good one down here. They always make a good effort down here at Gillies. And we have the, the singing reindeer this year. Excellent. <laughs> Right, also behind me there, folks, we have Hayes Travel. They stepped in and saved Thomas Cook, um, who Bro works for. So uh, thanks to them, they've now all got jobs. So there it is, the new, the new shop. It used to be Thomas Cook, but it's now Hayes Travel. Right, so more news here. Hot off the, uh, the press, off the ferry press. Subway used to be in there, but it's simply taken over by, I don't know, maybe they're just getting done up, I don't know. But at the moment, um, Subway is now over there. They've got this little bit in there. So I don't know if they're going to stay there, probably not. Maybe they're getting done up just right there. Right, folks, we've got a, a CD from the Oxfam shop, Feeder. Fantastic band, I've forgotten all about them. Uh, so I've got the singles, that, um, that'll be on my, my stereo now for the next few weeks in the car. And I've got a hot sausage roll as well, folks. So, yeah, good little walk around. Unfortunately, I didn't see much in the charity shop, so can't really do a charity shop, junk or gem. But um, maybe next time, just couldn't find anything. There was that chest set I saw. Um, I was just going to buy it for the pieces, but it was about £4.50 or something, so I thought, nah, and I didn't want the rest of the stuff either, so I would have just thrown all that out. But, um, right, we're walking along Long Lane now. This is the longest lane in Dundee, I think it must be, because it's massive. It's about, I did a video once of me walking the whole length of it, uh, doing walking fast. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, what is it, 1.8 kilometres long, I think, maybe, or, yeah, something like that. So, anyway, we're just carrying walking now back to the car. Um, it's not so cold inland, freezing down the front there. But the skies are still blue, so we're just going to see what we're going to do next. Right, folks, so let's be uh, back to the car now. Now, listen, what I said at the very start of the video about those things, those flagpoles banging around and making a horrific noise. There they are, there's three of them now, and they're all going in unison. And I can imagine if that was that would drive me bonkers living here man absolutely so i don't know what they're going to do about it or if they've done anything about it they tie them up and i don't know but there's no flags flying from them they're just um they're just empty poles at the moment so goodness knows what people are going to do about it there they are look three of them oh, banging our eye as i said all these houses around about here oh, it's I mean, I know you probably say no it doesn't it's not affecting anybody but probably will man when a dead of night when you hear these things clack 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 in and the sea the waves coming in the waves would be nice, that would be lovely. Bro would love that, wouldn't he? But um, yeah, living down here must be nice. Apart from that, it was deathly cold, man. It really is very, very cold with the wind. Um, the place sand gets blown over. Would sand get into your house? Probably would. Little grains of sand in the, in the high winds. And uh, <coughs> goodness. And those, uh, those flagpoles banging about. All right, okay. Well, we're gonna stick my feeder CD on now. Cedar, uh, cedar, feeder, I mean feeder. They're great. They had a couple of good chart songs that, they, that were in the charts. Buck Rogers was the uh, was the was the most famous one, um, and then we've got Insomnia. Rocking myself to sleep again, Insomnia. As mate Grant at work, he was writing to them. He got me into these uh, guys years ago, and I had uh, he gave me a shot of all the CDs, and I copied them. They're brilliant, man. So check them out online. Feeder, Buck Rogers is the one there. Uh, I've got a CD. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's much better when you actually hear it from the band themselves. So I'm gonna put this on. As I said, this will be on my CD player. CD player, player for ages now. Right, folks, just finished my sort of afternoon or early afternoon stroll. I've parked here 
in the back of the car park from hell because this way it's so much easier just to get out um, and we walk around the back way. This is sort of like a secret, a secret way so it's not busy on the in that bit there. It's nice and quiet so I've got to get eggs and bread. I managed to get my bacon and uh, black pudding from the, the butcher's got the butchers because everything's got to be perfect for Rosie. I need to get some mushrooms as well man. So here we go. Right, we well, may as well finish the uh, where I started, folks, with, a, with a, a post box. And this is a classic example of uh, a post box that doesn't have the ER on it. Remember, I told you ER is the uh, is the Queen Elizabeth Regina motif, but uh, Scotland doesn't uh, recognise Queen Elizabeth I as a monarch. So anybody sort of seceding there doesn't doesn't count in the Elizabethan sort of. Uh, name. So this one's just got the Scottish crown on it. No ER, nothing there man. Just the Scottish crown. The good old Scottish crown. There it is. Fantastic. There it is. So this is obviously one of the uh, the modern uh, examples of a post box. They had several different designs. I think it's been about eight, eight or nine different designs of, of post boxes over the years. They have different people to, to uh, design them. They have the hexagonal one, they have the special ones like the golden ones you know for the special people and um maybe actually maybe spish should have a, a golden a golden box but there you go there's a that's just a i think that's a fairly it's a, a fairly modern of course it's a, a fairly modern one there it is right it looks like it's going to be knocked over doesn't it it's like it's not one of those stands right anyway people are watching me the, uh, in the 1800s as a, a suffix recognize the queen as her monarch so there you go this one only has a GR on it. Christ, people just can't help themselves, can they? Let's they see on that. A queen, oh, a, a, a near thing suffix on it. in the 1800s uh, as a as a as a, a way of. Oh God damn!